Girl Sugar Sade. Welcome back to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thanks for tuning in. And if you're a first timer, go ahead and smash that subscribe button so you can tune into all this goodness. So today's video is going to be about the seven most annoying things about nursing school. The number one most annoying thing is clicks. You cannot escape the clicks in nursing school. Unfortunately, they study together, they hang out together, they sit together. And some of them are nice, and then some of them are not, and stuff like this happens. Hey, let's not share a study guide with anyone who's not in our group, okay? Yeah. 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 Hey, Shade, would you happen to have a study guide I could borrow? No, sorry. Okay, thanks. When this used to happen, it was always the funniest thing to me because you know that they're lying. Because it's like, to get in this position, I know like 95% of you are overachievers and perfectionists. And you have to have really good grades to get in to this position. So you mean to tell me that it's the day before the test and you don't got a study guide? Come on now. You are not unprepared. You're not going to go into that test unprepared. You're not. Let's be real. Let's be real. The second annoying thing about nursing school is that I don't care what school you go to, but your school of nursing is probably unorganized AF because it, that's just the way it goes. They're going to tell you your clinical placement the week before, like you don't have a life outside of nursing school or you don't have a job that you have to let know ahead of time. They're going to mess up and you're not going to be en enrolled in the class for the first three weeks. <laughs> They're also going to tell you things are going to be here on a certain day and they're not there on that day. So yeah, it's just um, school of nursing is always interesting for sure. <laughs> Number three is the hidden fees. No one, ta no one talks about this. All the hidden fees that nursing school has. First of all, um, I think first day of orientation, we walk in, you know, I'm like, yeah, I'm in nursing school. I'm excited. I get there, they're like, boom. By next week, you need to pay $1,100 for this computer software. And we use that computer software like once every semester. It was called Safe Medicaid. And we, we used it to do like dosage calculation tests that we had to get like 100% on. And that was it. That was it. $1,100 for one test a semester that we didn't know about. I thought like, shouldn't, I was thinking like, shouldn't this be included in tuition? Like, you know, but no, it's not. And then um, also another thing they don't tell you about is those books. Everybody knows that books in college are very expensive, but those nursing books are OD. I swear they are, they're ridiculous. Don't buy books, never buy books, just rent them or share books with friends. That's just my personal advice. And don't get me started on all the little clubs that you join the nursing societies the honor societies that by the way have like a 90 dollar annual fee just to be a member of but you know you do that so that when you graduate you know you get a nice ribbon you get a stole you get something to show for it right you think oh i put all in this work i pay my dues every year i get that ribbon for free no you gotta pay for that too and then you're just like, well, well, what were those dues for? Beats me. And lastly, when you graduate, you have pinning ceremony and uh, graduation and all that. Of course, everybody has to buy a cap and gown, which is a lot more expensive than you think. Yeah, I didn't expect to pay $100 for a cap and gown. But then also the penny, the pin for the pinning ceremony, which is mandatory to have. The cheapest one was $45. And no one talks about how expensive scrubs are. Why are scrubs $75 minimum? It's like pajamas, why? But we have to have scrubs and we have to pay for that. So I was just shocked by all of those hidden fees that nursing school brought. And uh, more of the story is 
save your coins because first of all they don't want you to work at least not full time but they want you paying for all this stuff so hopefully you have a savings account before getting into nursing school because you're gonna need it the fourth annoying thing about nursing school is kind of a pro and a con and it is that you are only with one cohort for the entire time that you're in nursing school once you make it in you have your cohort and you're with those people for the remain the remaining three or two or however many years your nursing program is that's a, that could be a good thing because that means you really get to bond with those people and become like a little family and um you know get to know one another but it's also a bad thing because you don't get to see anybody else like for three years of nursing school, I didn't get to really meet anybody else in my classes besides my nursing classmates who I already knew. I like to meet new people. I like to be uh, social. So if I wanted to meet more people, make friends, I would have to go out of my way on campus and like just hang out extra. But who really has time for that when you're in nursing school? You are in class all day. And then what you once you're done you want to go home and like do that assignment or go to work or go to clinical or whatever the case may be you're not you don't have time to just be on campus like that and i don't know any nursing students that really were on campus like that so hopefully during those first two years or however many years you um it takes you to do your prereqs hopefully you make all the friends you need because th that's it those are your friends the fifth annoying thing about nursing school is the fact that you don't have any control over your schedule and your classes are always super early, the earliest they can be, which, are se which is seven o'clock, and you have really early clinicals. Most of the time on clinical days, I would have to wake up at 4.30 to be at the hospital by 6.30 because I usually had to drive an hour to get to clinical or more you know that's just so annoying even for classes having to be up at 7 a.m and you don't even get to pick the day so if you have a, a strict work schedule or something sorry like they're not going to work around your schedule you work around the nursing school schedule but that could also be seen as a pro too because i remember a lot of my friends on registration day they would be like, okay, my registration's at 9 a.m. And they're like on their computers, like ready, you know? Or they'd be like, dang it, like all my classes got taken now. I have to like rework my schedule. I never worried about registration day after nursing school. I was like, well, I'm guaranteeing my classes. It just sucks that I have no control over what my schedule will look like, but I know that I'm always going to get them. So, I mean, that leads me to number six which is that unfortunately for a lot of nursing schools we go to school year round which means yes we have summer school we don't really get a break we get like one week in the beginning and like one week at the end so um the good thing is that um during summer school it's not full time but still if you're not from the area like i was not from the area i'm from the inland empire but i went to school in the san diego area which isn't too far but still if you don't you can't afford to like live in an apartment over the summer when you don't have a uh, financial aid or something i had to drive all the way from rancho cucamonga to san diego to my clinical or to class at least two times a week i mean the workload wasn't heavy but the fact that i just had to make that drive out there and the fact that i just didn't get a break from school like the rest of the people did you know we would love our breaks to take that time to refresh and just have fun or travel i could never do that so if for those of you who don't like summer school just know that you might have to do summer school and lastly number seven is Sometimes you do get biased professors. And um, I know you guys are thinking like, oh, how would that make a difference? Well, a lot of the assignments that you have in nursing school are papers or care plans that are really up to you know, the interpretation of whoever's grading it. So if the person who's grading it doesn't agree with your intervention or they don't agree with your method of teaching or something that 
you know, you chose for your paper, then they could say like, oh, I'll give you a three instead of a five because that's not a strong intervention. For example, um, we had a paper to write on what we would do to prevent hypertension or to get the word out or educate them about hypertension and eating healthier and stuff. And on my paper, I said that, oh, okay, you know, I'm going to set up information booths in front of grocery stores and hand out pamphlets to people and it'll say like, oh, got high blood pressure? Here's what you need to know. And I was going to have like how to do uh, cultural recipes and flip them to make it healthier or, you know, low sodium or low fat or non-fried options, you know, and here's heart healthy foods, just all in a pamphlet. And what is hypertension? How do we prevent it? And, you know, things like that. And that was my intervention that I said I would do. And my professor did not agree. They were like, I don't think that was a good intervention. I don't think that people would stop. And I'm like, well, I don't care what you think, but okay. That's fine if you don't think, <laughs> that's fine if you don't think that, but don't mark me down. Like what, you know? So just things like that, that can happen often in nursing school.